The good news is that today, we're gonna talk about how to find the good stuff. Tamara and I continued our journey through the unassuming Italian town and local market. Then it was off to try a true Italian tradition, one you might have heard of, the spritz. So what is spritz? Because it's not, to me, it's not just a drink here. I hear everybody, spritz, 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 all the time. Yeah, it's not just a drink. It's actually, it's a philosophy almost, I would say. It's, it's part of the Italian culture. It's a lifestyle. Yes, it is a lifestyle, <laughs> exactly. And it's basically a moment, it's called aperitivo, in which, uh, you know, you get together with friends and family about yeah. 11.30 in the morning or like 5.30 in the afternoon, and you have a spritz. 11.30 so, in the morning. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sounds too. great. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a classic cocktail yeah. of this area. It's a part, a third of uh, Prosecco. It's a third of sparkling water and a third of bitters. A third like a bitter liqueur. Yes, okay. exactly. You get the bubbles, yep. you get the, the bitter, mm -hmm. you get the little bit of sweet from the Prosecco, mm -hmm. and so you get kind of the balanced cocktail. Exactly, Yeah. exactly. Everything balances out. And you get the, you get kind of snacks with it as well? You do. Yeah. You do, you do. Yeah, you get the what's called chiquetti, okay. which are little snacks. Chiquetti? Yes. All right, let me try it. Not that I haven't had a spritz before. They're all the but rage. You, I don't know if you've heard. But have you had a spritz in Italy? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it tastes better here. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> I think the problem, too, is that oh, some places in America use um, maybe low-quality Prosecco. Yes. And it, it's a much better cocktail if you're using the right Prosecco. Absolutely. And where, So where are we going next? What's our plan for the day? Well, we are going to see the oldest Prosecco winery in Valdobbiadere. Just a five-minute walk from downtown, we were honored to sit down and talk with Pierluigi Bola, president of Valdo Spumante, which has been making wine since 1926. The company was formed by uh, four uh, local entrepreneurs. One was a doctor, one was a, a lawyer, one was a farmer, and uh, another one was a uh, salespeople. Like, uh, you know, a startup, I yeah. say, you know. 1938, so before the, the Second World War, uh, my father uh, decided to acquire this company. So the new generation coming in, uh, in the business today is the fifth generation. So amazing to hear you talk about a company that's been producing wine since 1926. Welcome uh, here at the hills uh, of uh, Cartizze, uh, which is, I mean, beautiful. Uh, the crew of the Prosecco wine uh, production. Very steep. Everything here is harvested uh, manually. Wow, all by hand. All by hand. There are no automatic machines uh, and there is no automatic uh, irrigation as well. So basically we are taking advantage uh, of uh, what the nature is uh, providing us with. And what you get is a true expression of, of the nature of the place how difficult it is to work the vineyard in this part of uh, Val d'Obiadene. To harvest uh, one hectare, it takes uh, one day. To harvest one hectare in the flat area, mm -hmm. it takes uh, usually one hour. Wow. Now, the destiny of Prosecco is uh, something which is uh, in our hands. So we have to be careful in order to position uh, Prosecco not as a commodity, but as a, a wine which is produced in this uh, marvelous and beautiful uh, area. Who better than Valdo's chief winemaker to explore the level of precision that goes into each bottle. Qual è la filosofia dell'azienda nella produzione di di vino? Ma la filosofia dell'azienda è una filosofia che è in continua evoluzione, perché comunque il mondo è in continua evoluzione e noi vogliamo essere sì un'azienda tradizionale, ma che porta innovazione, la produzione, all'imbottigliamento, alla commercializzazione del prodotto, ma non possiamo dimenticare i vigneti. Veramente noi abbiamo circa un centinaio di conferitori mm -hmm. con i quali abbiamo un rapporto quotidiano di collaborazione mm -hmm. che lavorano per la Valdo per portare un'ottima qualità di uva al Valdo, di uve, 
E quindi la nostra filosofia parte appunto dal fatto di dire vogliamo coltivare i, nostri, i vigneti, i vigneti dei nostri conferitori come fossero i nostri e nella maniera più sostenibile, più diciamo, rispettosa dell'ambiente possibile, in modo tale di portare poi nel bicchiere, nella flu, nel, 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 nelle bollicine e quel liquido che ci sta attorno, questa magia rispettando al massimo la materia prima e l'ambiente. Tutto parte dal vigneto? Dalla... Tutto deve, deve partire dal vigneto e se ci pensiamo bene torna al vigneto, quindi un'economia allora. circolare, un'economia rotonda dove se tutti gli attori fanno la loro azione in maniera corretta, precisa e puntuale... Il film dice un Oscar! Esatto, <ride> facciamo tutta una campionatura di ogni singolo vigneto di, dei nostri fornitori un mese, da un mese prima della raccolta, raccogliamo degli acini, mm -hmm. facciamo il controllo, la qualità, i zuccheri, l'acidità, mm -hmm. eccetera, e stabiliamo poi con, con ogni fornitore e con ogni signore vigneto il giorno della vendemmia. Bello perché la, una delle cose che mi piace di una Valda è che è una eh, grande azienda, ma allo stesso tempo c'è un, un senso di familiarità, è, una è una come una grande esatto, famiglia. Assolutamente, deve essere una famiglia, è, i titolari sono una famiglia e, e vogliono solamente che questo, questo DNA sia diffuso a tutti i livelli. Veramente un piacere Gianfranco. È un piacere per me. Bellissimo grazie. parlare con Thank lei, you. grazie per Grazie averci... italiano? No. Ah no? Non mi spiego. No, no, io ah. oh, no, no, sono in Italia. No, no. si può venire later. Ti traduco tutto sorry, io dopo. Sorry, sorry. All right, already. I know enough about Prosecco. It was time to drink. With the fifth generation of the Bola family, Matteo. We have a lot of glasses in front of us right now. Of course. <laughs> you can see that. Because Prosecco is a whole world uh, full of different nuances. And I'm very glad that we can go through the different styles and expressions. So the first bottle that I'm uh, opening, it's our Marca Oro Prosecco DOC Brut. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh, this is a three-month Charmat method. Okay. Aromas predominantly is green apple and pear. You get the touch of apricot and citrus, it's, uh, it's really fresh. Next in line, uh, we're going to uh, taste our Cuvée 1926, okay? This product is uh, created to honor the founding year of the winery. It is a Valdobbiadene Prosecco Superiore di OCG. Really, it's like an old meal companion. This is your workhorse. This can kind of do a little bit of everything and uh, uh, it is the perfect expression of taste and tradition of Prosecco Superiore. Uh, extra dry, it follows a five months Charmant method. You will really find notes of uh, white flowers, uh, peach uh, and tropical fruits. Oh yeah, right away, beautiful like stone fruit character. And florals as well, like mm -hmm. you said, white and purple florals. And, and we describe it as sweeter, but it doesn't taste sweet. And I think that's something for people to understand is that the amount of acid and the amount of bubbles that you have, balance it out. It reminds you like fresh laundry. You get these beautiful, fresh floral notes, lively yeah, and easy to drink. You remember my grandmother, yep. you know, <laughs> the scent of the laundry of my grandmother. Yeah. All right, so what's the next one? Next in line is our uh, Rive di San Pietro di Barbozza. Mm -hmm. So the Conegliano Valdobbiadene DOCG territory uh, is divided in 43 subzones, okay, that are called Rive. And this uh, is uh, uh, an expression of uh, uh, one of the subzone called San Pietro di Barbozza. It is uh, brut nature, so uh, zero residual sugar. Expression of uh, floral, since it's, the brut tends to enhance the floral notes. There's no residual sugar, so that enhances that minerality that comes from the, the soil. All right, wine number four. Next in line, we are going to taste uh, Cuvée del Fondatore, made with 90% uh, Glera and 10% Oak Chardonnay. Oak Chardonnay. Wow. Yes. The Chardonnay um, is aged six months in the barrels, which adds nuances of uh, vanilla. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's very unique. Yeah, I mean, if you're into a, a fuller, bodied Chardonnay, or perhaps if you're into a bigger style of champagne, like this is the, this is the Prosecco that I think would be right up your alley. Always following uh, the innovation from a production standpoint, uh, we have the Valdo numero 10. Valdo uh, started to uh, experiment a metodo classico. The traditional method. 
the traditional method. A 10 month uh, secondary fermentation in the bottle adds those um, yeasty toasted bread uh, aromas typical of the traditional method while still uh, keeping the uh, traditional aromatics of Prosecco. Can I have a little more? This stuff is, it's, you know what? It's exceedingly complex. Like I've, I've had, I went through that entire taste and I'm still getting new flavors and characteristics from it. And the finish is, is gorgeous. The finish is long and persistent and it changes. And we've arrived at the finale. Grand finale. What do we have? So we have a very special wine. It is called Cuvée Viviana and it is a Valdobbiadene uh, Prosecco Superiore di Cartizze. It is the crew of uh, Prosecco Superiore uh, DOCG. So the residual sugar here is uh, higher than all the uh, Prosecco products that we have uh, tasted so far. And you can smell it right on the nose. Yes, it's very pronounced, fresh fruits, tropical fruit notes. Oh yeah. Like yeah, banana, there's a lot of ripe like, uh, papaya, papaya and pineapple. Well, thank you so much for taking us through. Yeah. This is absolutely incredible. Salute. 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 <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>Do you want to try some of these wines? Head to viasravino.com to join the Vias Verino Wine Club and get wines from this episode and others shipped right to your door so you can drink along with us. Cheers.